Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tarr and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be talking about finally fixing this bug which has been plaguing Fallout New Vegas players who are trying to play the game through Parallels on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So this has been an issue for quite some time. Fallout New Vegas plays very well on Parallels, but it has this issue where if you go into certain areas of the game, you'll get this kind of stuttering. I'm going to put it in a small corner of the screen here so you, you didn't get too nauseated by it because it is very irritating and it does cause a bit of motion sickness. And this would happen when you go to an area like Prim, and what would happen is that it would just randomly occur and it would happen for a few seconds and then it would stop, but it would always be located around specific parts of that level. So I want to credit especially Jeff Avocado, who has discovered this fix, and also Gabbleman92. I'll leave their names in the description of this video. They have been instrumental in figuring out this fix for this issue. The, the issue is actually caused by a water shader. So specifically, B use water shader equals one. So that water shader is causing this juddering. I don't actually know the cause of this, but we do know what the fix and workaround is, especially if you don't care about whether the water has a shader attached to it or not. So this fix is fairly simple. Firstly, we need to use the Fallout Mod Manager. Now the reason we need to use this manager or an alternate launcher is that the main launcher will be overwriting the any changes that we're going to be making. So we need a different way of launching Fallout New Vegas. So I'm going to be downloading this from the Nexus Mods website. You have to have a free registered account in order to download this application. And once you've downloaded it, we're going to install it. So once the application is downloaded, we're just going to install it as normal. We're just going to go through all of the default settings. I've got my Fallout New Vegas saved on my C drive, so I'm just going to continue the installation process by default. Once we've selected Fallout New Vegas, basically what we need to do is to confirm all of the file paths. Click yes, click yes, click yes. Then we're going to do an upgrade. And basically we're now ready to launch the application once we've made these changes. So now we're going to navigate to the Fallout New Vegas preference area. So this is normally stored in documents under my games under Fallout New Vegas. And the file we want to edit is called fallout.ini. We're going to open with the notepad. Once we've opened the ini file, we're going to find the BUSE water shader equals one. And we're going to change that to zero. Click file and then click save. If by any chance your file is read-only, then you can right-click on the file, go to Properties, and uncheck the read-only. However, Fallout Mod Manager will do this for you. If you don't use Fallout Mod Manager or a different launcher, if you do launch it normally from Steam, it's going to overwrite this fix, so just be aware of that. Now I'm just going to load my Prim save again, and it's going to demonstrate to you that it is possible to walk around this entire level without encountering that bug again. I know that this issue has been plaguing people for a really long time. I've received tons of comments about it. Jeff Avocado and Gabberman92 have been instrumental in finding this fix. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.